In my last video, you saw me install these disc brakes on this Morris Miner. Well, now I need to modify the master cylinder in order to use the disc brakes. You can watch the video that I previously filmed of me taking the master cylinder out of my Morris Miner pickup truck as reference on how to remove it. I am just going to show you a quick overview right now. The master cylinder on the Morris Miner sits within the frame rail. In this case, I had to remove the bolts that holds the seat down, pull back the carpet, take off the cover over the master cylinder, and then remove all the lines and bolts going through the master cylinder. As you can see, I still need to clean out this cavity. That is years and years of brake fluid and junk that's gotten in there. Not only does the master cylinder have a brake line that comes in from the side, it also has one coming in from the back inside of the frame rail. Then there's two bolts that pass through the frame and through the master cylinder. Looks easy enough on this side, but on the opposite side, you have the torsion bar, and that is in the way of getting the bolts out without prying that torsion bar down. And my trick of doing that is to set a big socket in there, which then holds the torsion bar down far enough that you can see the two holes for the bolts right there to allow you to remove the master cylinder. All right, so here is the master cylinder. As you can see, first thing we want to do is remove the boot. Then everything is held in by a snap ring right there. So just grab your snap ring pliers. Oops. Pop that snap ring out. I'm gonna screw the cap back on. Plug this other port and then use a little bit of compressed air. Now pop the rest of it. So on the end of this, let's just pop this off. Okay. Inside of here is a little rubber piece that we need to remove. If you see on the sides of this cup, there's little holes along the side and a little piece of rubber blocks those. So that's what we need to remove is this little piece of rubber that's inside of here. We just need to get that popped up and out of there. Okay, and there it is. There's a little seal out of the check valve. With this removed, that will let the disc brakes release when you let off the pedal. Now I can just reassemble it without that seal and put it back in the car. boot back on. Now it is ready to go back in the car. As always, if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.